smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro to Villa Southland. My name is Dominic behind the camera. It's my brother Patrick with the Mara Brothers and today we have this exceptional home for just under 9 million to show you entirely. Let's start the tour. You might have guessed it, yes. This is the main entry into the home. I love this stone that's been used in these kind of two pillars holding the home together. This is where you would come in with your car. Nice cobblestone laid out, carport for three cars. The stairs that lead up wrap around to the front yard where you have the swimming pool, super entertainment area. This is the main entry. Let's begin, come on. Wow, humongous pivoting door leading you into the entry foyer of the house. Nice illumination from outside thanks to the massive picture window we have above. Let me quickly discuss the layout of the house before I put all the focus on this incredible fish tank we have here. Five bedrooms in total, three upstairs, one on this level, one in the basement. The basement is the coolest entertainment area we have seen, so stay till the end to see it. And 787 square meters of built area. Patrick, come closer. Let's look at this, a beauty of a fish tank. Can you imagine that we have toured over 100 properties and probably in our career seen over 300 properties. Have we ever seen a fish tank like this? No, we have not seen a fish tank, I think, at all. Ever, in any home, surprisingly enough. We have 15 different types of coral in here. That's what the agent Alex has told us from Soul Villa. This is an exclusive Soul Villa property. If you're interested already, contact him. He's listed in the description box. Do you like fish tanks? I love it. I never thought I do. Every time I look at it, I'm paralyzed. I'm like immersing into this ecosystem inside. Pretty cool. Now, guys, you see another kind of fish or underwater theme going on. We have jellyfish like lamps dangling down like a chandelier set up the staircase that leads to the first level. I mentioned the picture window at the beginning, bringing that natural light in. And we have an office and a bedroom there. We'll come to it later. Let's first check out this incredible space we have here. This is where the fun happens. This is the rectangular living room area that merges with this open plan, super sexy kitchen. I love it. We have the kitchen island right in the center. From it expands the dining table. Love the porcelain that I have put on it. This here not only holds the kitchen table, but it also serves as a champagne sink. There's a lot of fridges in this house. We'll come to that fireplace and nothing in this kitchen has a handle. Let me explain. We have Gaginau wine fridge, no handle, opens with the push of a button. We have here, nicely hidden behind a carpentry, a coffee area, right here. Also with the same porcelain plastered backsplashed open shelving LED lights, sockets. We are charging our battery right there and a nice area to just leave all the appliances you don't want people to see. So I'm just gonna close this one again. And it disappears. Likewise, paneled in are the fridges from Gaginau. As such, massive fridge. And here as well. You tap it and it opens automatically. And I think that's pure luxury. Voila. All the other appliances here are also from Gaginau, but I have to make a little distinction here. They're not your average Joe Gaginau appliances. This is top of the line Gaginau. This is the ultimate level you can get in Gaginau. This is basically like the Mercedes S class of the company, the Model 400. And Alex, the agent, told us that it only takes, I think, up to three minutes to heat it up to 300 degrees, which is quite impressive. Yeah, tell the story about our pizza last night. Yeah, no, better not. Come on, explain it. We just put things into perspective. Come on. Yeah, well, I cannot reach 300 in my oven. <laughs> let's, let's start with that. But yeah. 
Do you want me to follow up on that? It was very good though, no? Now, okay, what happened yesterday is we put the oven on. It took about 15 minutes for it to preheat in order to put the pizza in. And then another 7 to 10 minutes for the pizza to prepare itself. So all in all, it was, I think, 20 minutes. Now, in the 400 series, in three minutes, it's at 300 degrees. And then after three minutes, the pizza is done. So you're totaling a time of six minutes for everything to be finished instead of 30 like us. That's what I wanted you to tell. So two ovens, one steamer and one microwave. Yes, and underneath we also have the plate heater from Gaganau. So we basically have two sets of everything. We also have here with the tap of a finger, a dishwasher. Here would be the bin. And the same applies at the end of the kitchen. At this side, once again, another dishwasher from Gaganau. Another bin set up here. Perfect. To be honest, this home is ideal for parties. It's ideal to have a lot of fun because the layout gives you the opportunity. The style and design is really funky. This is a home I would love to entertain myself at. Gaganau gas stove. Love how kind of rural and rustic it looks. Nicely open with the Bunsen burners. We have the Gaganau extractor that pops up nicely integrated within the kitchen. And of course, of the entire dining area I mentioned before. And if we just want to have a quick look here, everything opens with the push of a finger and then you just push it gently in. I love it. It's also the first gas stove of Gargano, which we have uh, presented, I think. It's not so uh, Usually it's induction, anymore. yeah. I, yeah, I prefer, yeah. I prefer to actually cook on fire than on induction. Do you so? Interesting. You cook, Dominic. That's very interesting news. Okay, guys. Maybe you let, should cook let's for be, me once. <laughs> let's be fair and square. I never cook. And that's only because Patrick is an amazing cook. But before we move out of the kitchen, the cabinetry right above with the glass doors, the LED inside, just giving a nice illumination and kind of lets everything be exposed in a very elegant way. We also have here more plugs cannot be missing and more cupboards on this side as well as yeah I see. more cupboards on this side now we have plants dangling down but a lot of storage places so basically everything you need and not far away from the designer kitchen we find ourselves in the living room area we have an l-shaped couch open shelving there indirect lighting we see a nice led slip installed in the ceiling sound system is also there carpet laid out to give this entire room a nice feeling of sectionization is that even a word i don't know it divides the room nicely glass coffee table designer chairs everything super illuminated because from wall to wall we have glass lighting windows that open up giving you not only the view out which is fantastic today a little bit milky but also light now the entire house has also been laid out with Canadian Douglas pine, which is exceptional. It brightens the home. It gives it an entire warm feeling, a little bit Scandinavian, if I may to say, although it comes from Canada, which, yeah, it comes from Canada, but kind of gives a Scandinavian vibe to it. A lot of detailing with the same word, like the baseboards. So it's a great continuation of style and design. We also have the glass sliding doors with the railing installed underneath the stone so that it's not visible or you don't trip. So everything is evened out. Now let's check out this entertainment outdoor area. I love it. Let's go. Dining table, 10 people. You need a lot of space. Should we start with this epic bar area over there or should we maybe first cover, cover the lounge the first area? Lounge yeah. Area. Outdoor lounge area, same setup, L-shaped couch, big square coffee table, epic views when you sit here and look out to the greenery and the sea that goes from left to right. It's kind of 180 degrees panoramic view. Sunbeds to come and chill on. We have a jacuzzi and a swimming pool in this house and both are climate controlled, meaning the jacuzzi can be set to super hot, the pool to colder. 
and vice versa. Nice. We also have this beach effect with the sunbeds inside of the water. Just imagine what a cool effect it is. Super hot right now. Jump in the pool, lie down here, get some sun, relax, jump in the jacuzzi. Perfect setup. Meanwhile, someone else could be using this outdoor kitchen area. Let me explain. Firstly, love this porcelain that they've put on. We have a third dink and ruby gas grill cooker. I mean, just check this baby out. You can basically cook anything you want on this. And this is a real outdoor kitchen to the best. And let me show you why. We have fridges, two of them actually, right here. Fridge number one, fridge number two, some Pellegrini, water inside already, storage, storage. And another dishwasher. Exactly, dishwasher, a sink here that's nicely covered. Perfect, let's continue, there's more. I'm gonna drink this later. We have a sunken down pit here with a fire pit. This is a fire pit. You're seeing it in the night shots. Flames come up, creates a superb atmosphere. We have an ice machine here and right next to it, there, if you're getting it, Patrick, we have another champagne sink where you can put ice, cool the drinks, a bar set up here. This is the shallow end so people can stand inside of the water whilst you sit and you can have a nice conversation with one another and another wine fridge there. There's a lot of fridges, there's a lot of possibilities to cool your drinks and just have a good time in this home. And I think that's what it's been made for. Come and enjoy this home effortlessly. That's the style and design. Don't forget. Thank you, San Pellegrino, for the sponsorship. Jokes aside, but the water is really nice. Sparkling water, what else? Bar setup, four stools here as well. And we're kind of done with this area, except and for those who might have noticed, where's the toilet? Well, let me quickly show it to you, because it is here. We also have the outdoor shower area and a quick toilet here. Also super nicely designed, same style as inside of the house. Close it with the paneled door. You don't even know it's there. And that's back to the carport that we discussed at the earlier stage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's still a lot to show you. So let's jump right back into the home and show you what else it has to offer. Come on. Before we head upstairs, let's have a quick look at the guest toilet that we found on this level right here. Let's walk in together. I like the natural stone as well and the wooden paneled above the wooden panels above. Everything is super elegant. And this is just a guest toilet. It's also wallpapered. We've got some sort of more rustic looking wall backsplashed here natural stone one sink vanity and this super cool tap right here that creates a sort of spiral before the water flows out i mean come on for a guest toilet how exquisite is this and soft clothes excellent we're back at the other side of the fish tank this is nemo i named him peter jack oscar alex huyan my cousin Wojtek, where's the fat fish? Anyways, that is a bathroom, which will be shared by the two rooms that we are going to be showing you. We have a two sink vanity setup, Antonio Lupi taps and fittings, as well as the sinks. It's nicely floating. Underneath we have the drawer setup, LED lights, as well with the Canadian Douglas Pine. Backsplashed, we have the porcelain here, window, which is super important, toilet and everything else. What you need in a bathroom. Now, there we have an office space, which will come in very handy if you need to do some work. And we would have bedroom number one in this house right there. All right, let's continue. But before we do, there is 830 square meters of plot size and they managed to build a home of 787 square meters. And they were able to do that because we are in the exclusive closed and private urbanization called the Hills in La Quinta. And because they had so much land, they could have built much more houses than they did. But they chose to build less, but make them more spacious. 
Hope that explains it. Now we have glass balustrade, very elegant marble that's been put onto the steps that guides you up to the first floor where we have three bedrooms and we should go there. Now, have you seen the close up of the stairs? The marble, it has so many veins, it's beautiful. Let's start off with this bedroom and then two will follow. Each bedroom also enjoys a terrace. But let's talk about this division here. It's not only a bed frame for the bed, but it's also a division wall. Let's have a look at this side. Where we have a bed number one, nicely positioned in the center. The style is throughout. The design is welcoming and warm and kind of an open plan bar from there. But before, enjoy the detailed shots of the terrace. And now let's continue. Now we also have a lot of cupboards here for extra closing that you may have. Winter the, equipment. Yeah, winter equipment exactly illuminates nicely. It's perfect. By the way, Sierra Nevada is not just for winter. It's a skiing resort here in Spain. It's also for people who love nature. And that is because it has some amazing trails for you to hike. So do check it out. Bedroom number two on the first level, wallpapered from one side to the end. Very interesting light fixture there on the wall. A little dangling down lamp. We always like these, they're very nice. Bed frames, of course, cupboards. Let's open them here. So you get an understanding of the dimensions, inlaid with wood, LED lights, drawers underneath. Fantastic. Now, bathroom. Which is basically mirrored from the one we have seen underneath Antonio Lupi taps and fittings as well as the sinks on a vanity that's sort of floating drawer set up underneath. Big mirror. Maybe you get to see my brother in the reflection today? No, there. Oh yeah. That's yeah, so my brother with the Mara brothers. And we tour homes. Yes, we Wanted to do your greeting, go for it. No, it's okay. Tell everyone hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's continue. To the main room, the master's bedroom, which is right here. Oh, Oliviari door handles, also quite supreme. Let's go. All right. So, love the soft closing doors. Nice little landing here where you can sit down, read a book or wait while someone is taking too much time there. You know the deal. Some people are just extremely slow. Let's have a quick look into this, for instance, because this is the cupboard area for the main bedroom. You have all these drawers and cupboards that open inlaid with leather inside, super elegant, nice indirect lighting as well. Shall I open another one? Yeah, maybe this see. one. Oh yeah, even more inlay of leather here. So sophisticated. Wow, love it. Big mirror setup. Let's start off with the bathroom, which we have right here, because it's also quite unique because we have these marble sinks here and they are stunning. I absolutely love them. Underneath we have more storage and basically this has also been created and designed to match the marble sink we have here. The taps themselves are also so elegant and I think they're Hans and Grohe Axor in the, the main bedroom here. And yeah, superb nice. We have two of them and we have a clawfoot tap and I am correct Axor from Hans and Grohe. Super taps and fittings. Now a little closet here towels, whatever you need, bathroom. And what Patrick thought was a hammam is just a super spacious walk-in shower. Natural stone plastered onto the walls, indirect lighting, this niche here for your shampoos. You've got wooden panels above as well and two double rain shower heads. Yeah, because who likes a shower alone, right? Yeah, who does? Let's be honest. No one. <laughs> now we have the main bedroom that we're going to show you. So Zushbai, which is right here. So basically this is also sort of open plan because you have this division here. You have two mirror setups, which you also have on the bathroom side. A little like automatic powder place. No? Yeah, a little powder place, you know, make yourself nice and fresh in the morning. And this would be the main bedroom. Like the wallpaper gives off this wooden feel, warmth to the room, 
carpet is also laid out. The same Canadian flooring that we have throughout the house is also present here. And a little terrace that you're seeing in the detail shot and a perfect place to wake up with such incredible views. And now guys, the basement is absolutely insane. They spared nothing when it comes to entertainment. Let's have a look at it. I'm in love with this natural stone on the steps. Really dramatic, a lot of veins happening. Now this is the staircase that leads down to the coolest entertainment area with a lot of surprises, so let's go. And do let us know in the comments what you guys think of it. We'll always read them and we love your opinion. So do it. Before we show you the cool stuff, let's show you the bit more boring stuff that also takes place in the basement area. And that would be the last bedroom and the laundry room. Don't get me wrong, it's not boring. It's quite exquisite. But compared to what we will see, maybe a little bit. Once again, two sets of each, the dryer and the washer, you're more industrial looking hanger for your clothes cupboard sink a generous space for a laundry room 100 percent a lot of space even cool patrick i thought you were gonna say something elaborate more. further this would be your independent kind of studio apartment for your staff for your nanny or for your teenage child it has a sink has a Siemens induction microwave covered spaces basically your own little kitchenette a desk to work from a little sofa to sit on and access to the greenery which is unfortunately the only greenery that we have in the house but this house has been built for super low maintenance for people who like to come here party have a good time be with friends and family and not have to worry about too much maintenance and that is a great asset of this home. Now guys, we have the real joy of the house left for you guys to see. And a surprise little room. Maybe you've seen it in the introduction and in the detail shots. But anyways, act surprised. We have a white cellar here. Nice open display, open shelving, indirect lighting. And the backdrop is natural stone, which gives this entire wine cellar a bit more of a cave feel. And opposite it, we have a little Zen garden here, nicely filled with plantation. So they even used this space to make it interesting. Now the fun stuff, let's go. Voila, your entertainment bar area. And as we always do on the Mauro Brothers channel, I'm gonna break the balls. And if I get one You're in- You're breaking my already, so. Patrick, come on. Children watch this channel. I'm gonna break it. And if I get one ball in, you guys subscribe. And if I don't, you guys subscribe. Oh, you should train more before saying these things, Dominic. Oh man, what a pity. Number five was super close. Now let's put focus back onto the entertainment area. We have a humongous bar area here, bar stools. Underneath here, we have a dishwasher. We also have a fridge. We have a sink, open shelving, really nice lighting in this just to give it more of an ambient vibe. And of course, darts and a indication. Don't step on me from where you should throw. Now, many of you always say, the home's great, but for that price, there is no cinema room. Well, this one has an epic cinema room and you might not even know where it is, but it is right there, right there. That's lucky. Voila, home cinema Southland. A epic room sound insulated isolated insulated sound insulated big screen up front carpet throughout which absorbs the sound as well the beamer right there air conditioning is now on it's nice and cool in here and we also have a sweets dispenser here 
All right, let us know in the comment section what you thought about the entertainment area here. And now we move on to the gym area, which is just there. Don't get scared. You have a fully equipped gym from El Aiko. Amazing machinery, everything you need. And I did ask my brother who is, you know, a gym type of guy to explain us or to tell me whether this is sufficient for a full out workout. So Patrick, come on. <laughs> I'm the guy now. I didn't even know. You're the gym <laughs> guy. Come on, man. So what no, do you think? 100%. You got everything. I mean, it's more, more than enough. You have all the dumbbells going up to how much is it? 35? No, 30. 30 so kilos, which is sufficient. Kilos, cardio machines, some mats for the floor, two benches, El Ico, high quality. This is like a multi Atlantis, functional yeah. setup. Very, very good equipment, Atlantis. Yeah, you have the cable stuff. You have also a rack over here yeah. of some free weight exercises. We actually looked at, at getting ourselves some El Ico gym equipment, but and they're, they're not cheap. They're pricey, but good quality comes with a specific price tag. That's it. But like this home, the quality is great. It's got a super great amenities and something we have not yet come across. We actually haven't come across two things on our property tours, an aquarium and this room here. Let's have a look at it. Which is an ice machine you're seeing in the detail shots. It creates ice. You take that ice. You smear it onto your face and you cool off, which is pretty neat. And continuing, you would probably be doing this after you've been into the steam room, the hammam, the, the hammam which differently to all other hammams, have actually laid out with pine as well, giving this more of a warm sauna-like vibe. And for people who like sauna more, like Patrick and I, it's pretty cool. I personally also do not like to walk upon cold wet stone hence the pine right and this is also super sweet just the lighting in here it's also romantic and sets the mood for a great session of sweating and it's a very big sauna and yeah i uh, love it kennel better than our own sauna at home our own sauna is a two-man sauna, not to be compared to this. <laughs> we on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Patrick and I acquired a sauna and it's literally the size of two an, people sitting an next elevator. To each other. Yeah, we sit next to each other like that. And I think I sweat more because of Patrick's body heat. Anyways, we have another shower set up here. Nice look of more, you know, nature with the stone here. Fantastic. Now let's scooch out because there's so much more. We have another room here where you would come and get yourself massaged. And again, this is just what you need. You come watch a movie with friends, you play some pool, you do a workout session, you've got someone coming to squeeze you through. You jump into the hammam, you get yourself nicely iced, you go back into the sauna, you come out, you ice yourself again, then you run up and you jump in the pool. Wow. And this would be just the toilet in case you do need it. After a workout, it's right here. And a sink and a proper vanity set up here actually with a sink underneath. Above, I mean, is it underneath? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sometimes I'm not following you anymore. One sink vanity, the sink above, Antonio Lupi once again. Perfect. That's basically it, right? It's amazing basement. I wish I could have something like that. To be honest, I would live in this basement. What I would need is just change the wine cellar into a bedroom. And this would be the place I would love. We have love. a bedroom already there. Oh yeah, true. Back, yeah. Well, then I could live in this entire basement area. Yeah, be like a real bachelor flat. Yeah. You know what? This is actually a good bachelor house. 100%. Come here with your mates, spend a good time in Marbella. Yeah. You know? I was thinking that the whole time. Neat. For the friends I would invite, the good time I would have here. One day. Let's go back upstairs. 
Dominic, don't be like that. We already live such a good life. <laughs> we do indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the property tour. Here we would like to say a big thank you to Alex from Soul Villa, who is the lister of this beautiful home, for allowing us to give it a splendid Mario Brothers style tour. Show me to walk over here. Yeah, move a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe, you stay tuned for next week's episode and do not miss our night shots that we're going to be displaying for you now. Last word to Patrick. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, I'm... Ah, uh, no, kidding. Dressed too fancy for that. Tommy will not be jumping, but I'm pretty sure this is a very nice temperature because it is a very humid and hot day today. We were suffering a little bit but everything for you guys. So stay tuned, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and see you next time. Peace. Anything else? Yeah, they should stay for the night shots. Oh yeah, stay for the night shots. Peace.